Let's move on to the next question here. Question number 10. The sides of a triangle are in the ratio 1 is to root 3 is to 2. Then the angles of the triangle are in the ratio. First option 1 is to 2 is to 3. Second option 1 is to 3 is to 5. Third option 2 is to 3 is to 4. And fourth option 3 is to 2 is to 1. Now the sides are in the ratio 1 is to root 3 is to 2. That's what is given to us. Now, we will divide all the 3 by 2, 1 by 2, root 3 by 2 and uh, 1 here. So, clearly this would be, let us observe that these are, uh, this is sin pi by 6 and this is uh, sin pi by 3 and this is sin pi by 2. Okay. So, the angles must have been in the rate, angles must have been pi by 6, pi by 3, pi by 2. So, that is clearly 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 3. The angles are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. We know that the sines of the angles are proportional to the sides. So, I have the, I have used the proportionality of the sides to convert it into proportionality of the angles of the sides, sides of the angles opposite to the sides. So, pi by 6 must have been the angle opposite to the side some k and root 3 k, 2 k there. This is one way, almost by inspection. Now, the second method would be, we will find out cosines of the angles. Cosines of the angles can be found if you know the numbers which are proportional to the given sides. So, you do not you don't need to know the sides themselves. So, here we will say cos of one angle, let us say A is the angle opposite to this side. So, cos here will have been root 3 square plus 2 square, root 3 square plus 2 square minus 1 square by 2 into root 3 into 2. So, that is uh, 3 plus 4 minus 1 by 4 root 3. How much does it make it? 6 by 4 root 3. So, that is 3 by 2 root 3 and that is root 3 by 2. So, cos A is equal to root 3 by 2, A must have been, A is equal to pi by 6. Similarly, we can find out cos B, cos B would be half, this implies B is equal to pi by 3, B is pi by 3 and cos C will be 0, that implies C is equal to pi by 2. So, the angles, these are the angles that we have caught by inspection, this was by inspection that we have done and this is the regular method, regular method, conventional method. I found the cosines of the angles using the ratio of the sides there. So, clearly the option 1 is the right answer, option 1 is the right answer. Okay, let us move to the next question. In a triangle ABC, A small a is equal to 4, B is equal to 3 and angle A is 60, then C is the root of the equation. First option C square minus 3 C plus 7 is equal to 0. Second option C square plus 3 C minus 7 is equal to 0. Third option C square plus 3 C plus 7 is equal to 0. Fourth option C square minus 3 C minus 7 is equal to 0. So, let us have a look at this question here. Here, we are given the side uh, B to be 3, let us say this is B and A is 4, the side A is 4, the angle A is, so B is AC, we know that 
B is the side AC. Angle A is 60. So draw a line with angle 60. And now B is somewhere here. You got to mark that B there. So I know that CB is must have been equal to A. That is A is equal to 4 units. So from here draw an arc of length 4 units. There are two possible positions of this vertex B, B1, B2. So with this information, we can actually construct two triangles, which means the side C will not be fixed. AB1, this is C1, AB2 is C2. The C1 and C2 become the roots of the roots of some quadratic equation and that quadratic equation is what we are trying to seek here. It is a case of ambiguity in the sense that we are not able to fix the triangle with the help of the given information. We are given two sides but one side one angle is opposite to one of the given sides. Had it been an included angle we would have been able to fix the triangle. So here let us see there are two possible triangles we can have this is also 4 this is 4 units is also 4 units. Now we will just look at this here cos A we will use the formula cos A is equal to b square plus c square minus a square by 2 b c. But what is A given? A is given to be 60. So, A is 60 therefore cos A is half and that is equal to b square is 9, 9 plus c square minus a square a is given to be 4. So, 16 divided by 2 into b, b is 3. So, 3 into c. Okay. Now, this 2 and this 2 will cancel out and we have here 3 c is equal to c square minus 7. So, very clearly we have here we have here c square minus 3 c plus 7 is equal to 0. Okay. So, that is clearly appearing in the option 1. Option 1 is the right answer option 1 is the right answer. Let us move on to the next question. If D is the middle point of the side BC of a triangle ABC and AD is perpendicular to AC, then first option 3B square is equal to A square minus C square. Second option 3A square is equal to B square minus 3C square. Third option B square is equal to A square minus C square. Fourth option A square plus B square is equal to 5C square. Let us visualize the situation here. We have this is the triangle ABC. This angle is 90. D is the midpoint of BC. We are given that AD is perpendicular to AC. Now, we will use Apollonius theorem here. This is A by 2, A by 2 is of course B and uh, this is C. What does Apollonius theorem state? A D square plus B D square twice of it is equal to that square of a median plus half square of the half of the side on which onto which that median is drawn double of it is equal to 
ए बी स्क्वेयर प्लस ए सी स्क्वायर ए बी स्क्वेयर प्लस ए सी स्क्वायर विल यूज दिस थियरम हियर टू इंटू वॉट इज ए डी स्क्वेयर हियर वी कैन राइट ए डी स्क्वेयर एस दिस इन दिस ट्राइंगल वे कैन यूज हाईपो वी कैन यूज द पाइथोगरस थियरम सो ए डी स्क्वेयर कैन बी रिप्लेस्ड बाई ए स्क्वेयर बाई फोर माइनस बी स्क्वेयर दिस बिकम्स हाईपोर्ड इन यूज दिस इज द वन ऑफ द साइड्स सो ए डी स्क्वेयर विल बी इक्वल टू हाईपोर्ड इन यूज स्क्वेयर माइनस स्क्वेयर ऑफ दिस प्लस बी डी स्क्वेयर वॉट इज बी डी ए बाई टू सो ए बाई टू स्क्वेयर दैट इज ए स्क्वेयर बाई फोर इज इक्वल टू ए बी स्क्वेयर वॉट इज ए बी स्क्वेयर हियर ए बी इज सी सी स्क्वेयर ए सी इज बी सी स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर सो लेट्स ओपन इट अप टू इन टू ए स्क्वेयर बाई फोर प्लस ए स्क्वेयर बाई फोर ए स्क्वेयर बाई टू माइनस बी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू सी स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर ना वेरी क्लियरली हियर टू इन टू ए स्क्वेयर बाई टू ओपन इट अप वट वी हैव ए स्क्वेयर माइनस टू बी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू सी स्क्वेयर प्लस b square there so from here very clearly transpose this to b square the other side you get 3b square is equal to a square minus c square okay we have this thing so the option option 1 is the right answer here we made use of the apollonius theorem this is to be born in mind it's very it's an important result so two times of the square of the median plus half the square of the side onto which it has been drawn is equal to some of the squares of the other two sides okay so this is what has been used and we use the pythagoras theorem to write ad square ad square was written as a square by 4 minus b square there let's move on to the next question question number 13 if the sides of a triangle are in arithmetic progression and the difference between the greatest and the least angles is pi by 2 then sin b by 2 is equal to first option 1 by 2 second option 1 by 2 root 2 third option 1 by root 2 and fourth option root 3 by 2 okay let's have a look at this here let me assume that the sides a b c are in this form a less than b less than c so which means that the angle a will be the least angle angle b angle c c minus a is equal to pi by 2 that's what is given to us so we can write c to be a plus pi by 2 but we are asked something in terms of b there so we know that a plus a plus pi by 2 that is c plus b is equal to Here pi, the sum of the angles in the triangle is 180. We are using that, so that gives me 28 plus b is equal to pi, pi by 2. So your a can be written as pi by 2 minus b whole thing divided by 2. So we can write a as pi by 4 minus b by 2. so we can write all the angles in terms of b now what are the angles here so a is pi by 4 minus b by 2 c will be we can add a pi, pi by 2 to it that becomes 3 pi by 4 minus b by 2 and so b is b only and then of course c is equal to we have to add a pi by 2 to this 3 pi by 4 minus b by 2 Okay, now let's get to the problem. Here, these A, B, C are given to be in arithmetic progression. So A, B, C are in arithmetic progression, which implies two B is equal to A plus C. Let's convert this equation into this angles. Use the sine rule. Two into two R sine B is equal to two R. Sin a plus sin c. So what do we have here? 
and uh, this is clearly 2r can be cancelled and we have 2 sin b is equal to sin a plus sin c. Now, what do we have sin a to be? Sin a is equal to sin of pi by 4 minus b by 2. What is that? Cos b by 2 minus sin b by 2 by root 2. That is sin of uh, a plus what about sin c? That will be sin 3 pi by 4 into cos b by 2 minus cos 3 pi by 4 into sin b by 2. This we can write in the form of cos b by 2 minus sin b by 2 by root 2 and we have sin of 3 pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. So, again plus cos b by 2 by root 2. Coming to this cos of 3 pi by 4 is minus 1 by root 2. So, this becomes plus there I will get plus sin b by 2 by root 2. Now, this sin b by 2 by root 2 and this minus sin minus and plus terms they cancel and you have here 2 cos b by 2 by root 2 that is 2 sin b this 2 and 2 can be cancelled. So, carrying on from here sin b is equal to cos b by 2 by root 2, but what is sin b? 2 sin b by 2 cos b by 2. So, this can be cancelled. So, what do we have here? Sin b by 2 is therefore equal to 1 by 2 root 2. Sin b by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 root 2. So, clearly option 2 is the right answer. Option 2 is the right answer. Let us move on to the next question. In a triangle PQR, angle R is equal to pi by 2. If tan P by 2 and tan Q by 2 are the roots of the equation A x square plus B x plus C equal to 0, A not equal to 0, then first option A plus B is equal to C, second option B plus C is equal to A, third option C plus A is equal to B, fourth option B is equal to C. Look here. In the triangle PQR, one of the angles is 90, this let us say r is 90, that is given. So, angle P plus angle Q will have to be 90. So, then this gives me P by 2 plus Q by 2 to be equal to pi by 4. We will apply tan both sides, we will apply tan both sides. Tan of P by 2 plus Q by 2 will be equal to 1. That we know as a formula tan of A plus B formula tan P by 2 plus tan Q by 2 divided by 1 minus tan P by 2 tan Q by 2 is equal to 1. But what is this tan P by 2 tan Q by 2? They are actually the roots of equation a x square plus b x plus c. So, tan p by 2 plus tan q by 2 is sum of the roots that is minus b by a. Tan p by 2 into tan q by 2 is the product of the roots. It is the product of the roots and that is clearly c by a. We are given that tan p by 2, tan q by 2 are the roots of roots of a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0. So, then this tan p by 2 plus tan q by 2 becomes the sum of the roots that is minus b by a product of the roots c by a. Let us substitute them there. What do we have here? Minus b by a 
is equal to 1 minus c by a. I am just cross multiplying there. Here what do we have? Very clearly it is a minus c by a is equal to minus b by a can be cancelled here. So, b is equal to c minus a that clearly gives us a plus b is equal to c and that is up appearing in the option 1. Option 1 is the right answer. Let us move on to the next question here. In the triangle ABC, 3 tan A by 2 tan C by 2 is equal to 1, then ABC are in first option arithmetic progression, second option geometric progression, third option harmonic progression, fourth option arithmetico geometric progression. Tan A by 2 half angle formula, what is that equal to? Root over S minus B into S minus C by S into S minus A. What about tan C by 2? That is given by root over the other two symbols, complementary symbols here, S minus A into S minus B divided by S into S minus C. Let us multiply them. Tan A by 2 into tan C by 2. What does that give us? This S minus C is in the numerator and this S minus C in the denominator will cancel. This S minus B in this numerator here will cancel with, I'm sorry, this will remain. We have here this S minus A in the numerator of this and S minus A in the denominator will cancel. So, what are you left with? Root over S minus B by S and here also we are left with root over S minus B by S. So, that gives us S minus B by S. We are given that 3 into tan A by 2 tan B by 2 tan C by 2 is equal to 1. So, 3 into S minus B by S is equal to 1. That gives us 3S minus 3B is equal to S. That gives us 2S to be equal to 3B. What is 2S but? 2S is equal to A plus B plus C. So, A plus B plus C is equal to 3B. Now, from here it is very clear that 3B minus B that is 2B is equal to A plus C. So, what does that mean? A, B, C are in arithmetic progression. This implies A, B, C are in arithmetic progression. So, the option 1 is the right answer. Let us move to the next question, question number 16. If capital A 1, capital A 2, capital A 3, comma capital A are respectively the areas of the x circles and the incircle of the triangle ABC, then 1 by root A 1 plus 1 by root A 2 plus 1 by root A 3 is equal to first option 2 by root A second option 1 by root a, third option 1 by 2 root a, fourth option root a. Now, a 1 is the area of the x circle opposite to one of the vertices, let us say a and a is a 1 is pi r 1 square, a 2 is pi r 2 square. This will imply root a 1 is equal to under root pi times R 1. Similarly, root A 2 will be equal to root pi times R 2. Root I mean root A 3 will be equal to under root pi times R 3. These are the A 1, A 2, A 3 are the areas of the x circles. R 1, R 2, R 3 are the radii of the x circles. So, we have used that. Now, A is the area of in circle. So, that is pi r square. So, this gives us root a to be equal to root pi into r. Now, what we are asked is 1 by root a 1 plus 1 by root a 2 
plus 1 by root a 3 is what was asked in terms of 1 by root a. This is what we want. What is 1 by root a 1? 1 by root a 1. 1 by root pi can be taken common and we have here 1 by r 1 plus 1 by r 2 plus 1 by r 3. We know from one result that 1 by r 1 plus 1 by r 2 plus 1 by r 3 is equal to 1 by r. So, this is clearly 1 by root pi into 1 by r. But what is 1, what is root pi into r? That is root a. So, it is clearly 1 by root a. This r into root pi is equal to root a. So, we have here 1 by root a and that is appearing in the option 2. Option 2 is the right answer. So, the point that is to be borne in mind here is the result that 1 by r 1 plus 1 by r 2 plus 1 by r 3 is equal to 1 by r in a triangle. Okay. For a triangle ABC, it is given that cos A plus cos B plus cos C is equal to 3 by 2. Then the triangle is first option isosceles, second option equilateral, third option right angle and fourth option scalene. Now, we are given that cos A plus cos B plus cos C is 3 by 2 or minus 3 by 2 is equal to 0. Let us rewrite the equation like this. Let us apply transformation here. We will get 2 cos A plus B by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 and this cos c we shall write this as 1 minus 2 sin square c by 2 minus 3 by 2 equal to 0. I have replaced cos c a with 1 minus 2 sin square c by 2. This cos of a plus b by 2 we know that in a triangle a plus b by 2 is equal to pi by 2 minus c by 2. So, cos of a plus b by 2 will turn out to be sin c by 2. So, this cos of a plus b by 2 can be replaced by sin c by 2. So, we, do, we therefore have 2 sin c by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2. minus 2 sin square c by 2 minus half is equal to 0. We will write this as a quadratic in sin c by 2 as a quadratic equation in sin c by 2 quadratic in sin c by 2. Let us multiply throughout by a minus sign. So, we get 2 sin square c by 2 minus 2 cos of a minus b by 2. I will treat this as a coefficient of sin c by 2. A minus half is equal to 0. Now, what do you know about sin c by 2? That has to be a real number. That sin c by 2 is a real number. And of course, sin c by 2 has to be a real number between 0 and 1 because a, b, c are angles of a triangle here. But anyway, so for this quadratic equation to have real roots, what is the criterion? The discriminant should be greater than or equal to 0. So, let us use that. 4 cos square a minus b by 2. So, b square minus 4 ac is what we are doing 4 into 2 into minus half. This should be greater than or equal to 0. This minus and minus will make it plus here and this 4 can be cancelled out. We have cos square of a minus b by 2. We will then get cos square of a minus b by 2 minus 1 to be greater than or equal to 0. 
So, that gives me cos square of a minus b by 2 should be greater than or equal to 1, but can it be greater than 1 cos square theta is always less than or equal to 1. So, you cannot have it to be greater than 1 therefore, cos square of a minus b by 2 has to be equal to 1 only. When is cos square theta equal to 1 this theta has to be this a minus b by 2 is 0. So, this means a is equal to b. Now, we are able to conclude that a is equal to b here. Now, what did we do here? We clubbed cos a and cos b term and we wrote cos c in terms of sin c by 2. Now, we could have repeated the same thing. Uh, what is it by symmetry? We could have clubbed cos b and cos c terms and left out this cos a. Cos a would have been written as 1 minus 2 sin square a by 2. We would have written it as a quadratic in sin a by 2 and we would have got cos b to be equal to I mean b equal to c. So, now had we clubbed these two terms and applied transformation and wrote it as a quadratic in sin a by 2, we would have got b equal to c. Similarly, we can show that b is equal to c. Therefore, from the same condition we could have arrived at a equal to b, we have arrived at a equal to b as well as b equal to c. So, that means that the triangle has to be equilateral triangle, the triangle has to be equilateral triangle and option 2 is the right answer. Let us move on to the next question here. In a triangle ABC, if cos A cos B plus sin A sin B sin C is equal to 1, then A is to B is to C is equal to first option 1 is to 1 is to 2, second option 1 is to 1 is to root 2, third option 1 is to root 2 is to 1, fourth option root 2 is to 1 is to 2. Now, we are given cos A cos B plus sin A sin B sin C is equal to 1. What we will do is, we will transpose this term the other side and write sin c as 1 minus cos a cos b by sin a sin b. What do you know about sin c? Sin c is less than or equal to 1. So, we will use that 1 minus cos a cos b by sin a sin b has to be therefore, less than or equal to 1. So, then therefore, we get 1 this sin a and sin b are both positive quantities in a triangle a and b are lying between 0 and pi and sin a and sin b both have to be positive. So, we should have sin a into sin b, we can cross multiply, we can have 1 minus cos a cos b to be less than or equal to sin a sin b. Now, transpose this cos a cos b the other side and you get cos a cos b plus sin a sin b to be greater than or equal to 1, but what is the right hand side here? This is cos of a minus b. So, this implies 1 is less than or equal to cos of a minus b. So, we therefore, have, but can we have cos of an angle to be greater than 1? We cannot be having it. So, this implies cos of a minus b has to be equal to 1. So, this implies a must be equal to b, a minus b is 0. So, this is a equal to b. Now, if I put b equal to a here, what is it I will be getting? I would have got or in this we, if you put b equal to a, we will get sin c to be 1 minus cos square a divided by sin square a that has to be 1. So, this would actually therefore, we can get sin c to be equal to 1 because sin c is 1 minus cos square a by 1 sin square a that comes out to be 1 there. So, this implies c is equal to 90 degrees. So, clearly we have angle c to be 90, c is 90 and these two angles a and b let us say 
these two angles A and B are both equal. So, both of them have to be 45, 45. So, it is clearly a right angled isosceles triangle. So, obviously, the sides are in the ratio if this is A, if this is some x, this will also have to be x and this has to be x root 2. So, the sides are in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to root 2. The sides are in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to root 2. So, option 2 is the right answer. Let us move on to the next question, question number 19. If in a triangle ABC, sin q b a plus sin q b plus sin q c is equal to 3 sin a sin b sin c, then the determinant a b c b c a c a b is equal to first option 0, second option a plus b plus c whole cubes, third option a plus b plus c into a b plus b c plus c a and fourth option a b plus b c plus c a. Now, what are we given? Sin q b a plus sin q b plus sin q c is equal to 3 sin a sin b sin c. What I will do is, we will write this as, we will convert this into the sides, relation between the sides. This will come out to be a cube by 8 r cube, because a by 2 r is sin a, a cube by 8 r cube and this will be b cube by 8 r cube and c cube by 8 r cube. This will also turn out to be 3 by a b c by 8 r cube because you will have a 2 r corresponding to each sign. So, we have this 8 r cube common here cancelling. So, what we have is a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3 a b c. We are asked to find this determinant a b c, b c a, c a b. This is a circulant determinant. We know that this is a standard determinant that is equal to 3 a b c minus, this is 3 a b c minus a q plus b q plus c q. This has to be remembered. Remember this. The circular determinant a b c b c a c a b when you write the rows like that the determinant is given by 3 a b c minus a q plus b q plus c q. So, that is clearly 0 then because you are getting from what is given from the given equation we have arrived at a q plus b q plus c q to be equal to 3 a b c. So, that means this has to be equal to 0 in the problem in this problem it is 0 because we have been given that. So, obviously, the option 1 is the right answer, option 1 is the right answer. Let us move on to the next question in a triangle with the sides a b c r 1 is greater than r 2 greater than r 3 which are the x radii then first option a is greater than b greater than c second option a less than b less than c third option a greater than b and b less than c fourth option a less than b and b greater than c. Now, what is r 1? Delta by s minus a, r 2 is delta by s minus b, r 3 is delta by s minus c. What is the relation which is given about them? r 1 greater than r 2 greater than r 3 that is what is given. That means, delta by s minus a is greater than delta by s minus b and that is greater than delta by s minus c. Now, delta being a positive quantity, we can but cut it out. So, what do we have? 1 by s minus a less than greater than 1 by s minus b and that is greater than 1 by s minus c. This clearly gives us s minus a will be less than s minus b and that is less than s minus c. So, it means that c must have been the least b must be in the next least and a must be in the largest. Okay? So, we have therefore, a greater than b greater than c and option 1 is the right answer. 
option 1 is the right answer. So, let us move on to the next question. If in a triangle ABC, A cos square C by 2 plus C cos square A by 2 is equal to 3 B by 2, then the sides ABC are in first option arithmetic progression, second option geometric progression, third option harmonic progression, fourth option they satisfy the equation A plus B equal to C. A cos square C by 2 plus C is cos square A by 2 is equal to 3 B by 2. Let us transpose that to the other side. So, A into 2 cos square C by 2 plus C into 2 cos square A by 2 is equal to 3 B. But what is 2 cos square C by 2? We can write it in the form of A into 1 plus cos C. And this is plus c into 1 plus cos a that is equal to your 3 b. Now, a cos c plus c cos a plus we have a plus c is equal to 3 b. We know from projection rule, projection rule a cos c is equal a cos c plus c cos a is equal to b. This is by projection rule, projection formula. Projection formula gives me a cos c plus c cos a to be equal to b. So, b plus a plus c is equal to 3 b for us. So, very clearly this implies 2 b is equal to a plus c. So, what does that mean? It means that A, B, C are in arithmetic progression. Twice of the middle is equal to sum of the extremes. So, that means that the numbers are in arithmetic progression. So, we have the first option to be correct. Option 1 is the right answer. Let us move on to the next question. Question number 22. In a triangle A, B, C, the median C, D and B E are drawn. A, D is equal to 4 units angle D A B is equal to pi by 6 and angle A B is equal to pi by 3, then the area of the triangle is first option 8 by 3, second option 16 by 3, third option 32 by 3 root 3, fourth option 64 by 3. Now, we have a triangle A B C, A D is a median, A B C is a triangle, A D is going to be, A D is given to be 4 units and B is under median. So, this D and E are the midpoints of B, C and C A respectively here. Angle D A B, angle D A B is pi by 6, this is pi by 6. Angle A B E, this is angle B B E that is equal to pi by 3. So, clearly this has to be pi by 2. This is 30, this is 60, this is this has to be 90. Okay. Now, we know that this length is 4 units. Now, we are given that A D is equal to 4 units, this is pi by 6, this is pi by 3, therefore, this has to be pi by 2. And uh, a D, what is A G? We know that the centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 3. So, it is 2 thirds of 4 is our A G. Okay? And this is 60 degrees, this is 30 degrees, that is what we know. A G by B G is equal to tan 60 that is equal to root 3. But what is A G? So, B G is equal to A G by root 3. What is A G? We have 8 by 3. So, 8 by 3 root 3. B G is equal to 8 by 3 root 3. Now, half B G into A G is going to be the area. So, that is going to be half into 8 by 3 root 3 into 8 by 3. 
So what we have here is this makes it 32 by 9 root 3. It makes it 32 by 9 root 3. But this is the area of the triangle, area of the triangle ABG, area of the triangle ABG is equal to 32 by 9 root 3. Therefore, the area of the triangle ABC has to be 3 times this area, 3 times 32 by 9 root 3, which makes it 32 by 3 root 3. So, option 3 is the right answer. Option 3 is the right answer. Let us go back to see what is given. This is pi by 6, this is pi by 3. This will be obviously pi by 2. Now, I consider the triangle AGB. AG is 1, 2 thirds of this AD. So, 2 thirds of 4 we have written there. Now, AG by BG has to be tan 60. So, BG has to be written as AG by tan 60 that is root 3. So, AG by root 3. AG was 8 by, 8 by 3. So, we got this now. And moreover, the area of the triangle ABC is 3 times area of the triangle AGB. Therefore, we have found that it is 32 by 3 root 3 on the option 3 is the right answer. In a triangle ABC, angle C is pi by 2. If R is the in radius and capital R is the circum radius of the triangle ABC, then 2 into small r plus capital R equals first option B plus C, second option A plus B, third option A plus B plus C and fourth option C plus A. ABC is the triangle, angle C is given to be 90. The in radius that is in ra radius of the inscribed circle we know is given by delta by S. What is delta here? This is B and this is A half AB by S. Yes. What is A B? What is S? A plus B plus C by 2. This is V. So, that makes it A B by A plus B plus C. So, R the in radius is given by A B by A plus B plus C. This side length is small c, this length. That is hypotenuse is small c here. Now, what is capital R? The circum radius of this triangle. The circum radius will be definitely the hypotenuse because it is a right angle triangle. Circum radius, I mean this will be the diameter of the circumscribing circle. So, what is capital R? We will say it is C by 2 capital R is C by 2. What we wanted was 2 in 2 R plus 2 capital R. What we wanted was 2 R plus 2 capital R. So, that makes it 2 A B by A plus B plus C and what is 2 capital R? That is C. What do we have this to be? A 2 A B plus A C plus B C plus C square by A plus B plus C. Now, this is a right angle triangle, C square has to be equal to A square plus B square. Hypotenuse square is equal to some of the squares of the other two sides here in a right angle triangle. So, C square is A square plus B square. This can be replaced by A square plus B square. So, we then therefore, have a square plus b square plus 2 a b that makes it a plus b the whole square. I am clubbing these two terms. So, and now I have here a plus b into c. This a c plus b c and let me rewrite it group it into this form and we have here a plus b plus c here. 
we find a plus b common here and then we therefore, have a plus b plus c. In the denominator again we have a plus b plus c. This a plus b plus c cancels and we have this to be a plus b. So, 2 into small r plus capital R turns out to be a plus b and that is clearly available in the option 2. Option 2 is the right answer. Option 2 is the right answer. Let us move on to the next question, question number 24. For a regular polygon, let small r and capital R be the radii of the inscribed and circumscribed circles. A false statement among the following is, first option, there is a regular polygon with small r by capital R equals to 1 upon root 2. Second option, there is a regular polygon with small r by capital R equal to 2 by 3. Third option, there is a regular polygon with small r by capital R equal to root 3 by 2. Fourth option, there is a regular polygon with small r by capital R equals to 1 by 2. So, let us look at the problem here. Let us say the polygon has n sides. It is a regular polygon with n sides. Let this be the center of the polygon. If you drop a perpendicular from here onto any of the sides, that will give us the in radius small r, radius of the inscribed circle, radius of the inscribed circle small r. Whereas, the radius of the circumscribing circle is this thing, this let us call this O A B. O A and O B are both the radii of the circumscribing circle. This is capital R. Now, the angle subtended by each side at the center of the polygon will be 2 pi by n, assuming that n are the sides of number of sides is assume that assume that assuming that the number of sides is n of the polygon each side will it being a regular polygon each side will subtend equal angle at the center. So, the 2 pi will be divided equally and we will have 2 pi by n. So, this will be 2 pi by n this total is 2 pi by n when you are dropping perpendicular from center onto the side it is going to be bisecting the side and this angle also will be bisected you have pi by n and pi by n here is also pi by n. Let us think that the side a b is let a b be equal to small a. So, let us try to try to write the small r and capital R in terms of a and n right. What is small r? Let us look at this, this is small r here. r by a by 2 by r, this is a by 2, this is a by 2, a by 2 by r will be equal to opposite by adjacent side and that will be tan pi by n. In other words, small r will be equal to a by 2 cot pi by n. Similarly, let us try to arrive at capital R. What do we have? A by 2 by capital R, this is capital R, OB is capital R, A by 2 by capital R is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. OB becomes a hypotenuse of this triangle. It is opposite to this angle, so what is that going to be? Sin pi by m. So, this gives me r to be equal to a by 2 cosecant pi by n. What is small r by capital R? Cot pi by n that I will write it as cos pi by n by sin pi by n divided by cosecant pi by n that will become sin pi by n. So, I am going to have this cancelled. This is 
small r by capital R is therefore cos pi by n. Actually, we could have directly written this small r by capital R is adjacent side by hypotenuse that is cos pi by n, but I just wanted to write the value this small r and capital R formulae. So, it is for that reason we have arrived at this, but otherwise it could be straight away written in terms of this. So, small r by capital R is cos pi by n. Now, we have to see whether cos pi by n can be equal to any one of these. When n is 4, we have cos pi by 4 to be equal to 1 by root 2, which is a possibility. So, first option is possible. Let us look at when n is equal to, let us say for example, 6, we have cos pi by 6 to be equal to root 3 pi by 2, root 3 by 2. So, the third option is also possible. What if n is equal to 3? We will have cos pi by 3 to be equal to half. So, that is also possible. Now, so first option is possible for n equal to 4, third option is possible for n equal to 6, and fourth option is possible for n equal to 3. Second option does not arise cos of pi by n is not equal to 2 by 3 for any n natural number, not equal to 2 by 3 for any n natural number. So, of the statements option 2 is the right answer. So, that is the false statement actually. Question number 25 in a triangle PQR, if 3 sin p plus 4 cos q is equal to 6 and 4 sin q plus 3 cos p is equal to 1, then the angle R is equal to first option pi pi by 6, second option pi by 6, third option pi by 4, fourth option 3 pi by 4. Now, what are we given? 3 sin p plus 4 sin q, 4 cos q is equal to 6 and we have here 3 cos p plus 4 sin q is equal to 1. Let us call this equation 1, equation 2. Let us square and add these two equations 1 square plus 2 square. Let us go for that. So, what do we have? 9 sin square p plus 9 cos square p that will give me 9 and you have 16 cos square q plus 16 sin square q that's in, that will be equal to 16. Now, we have the mixed term 2 into 3, 6 into 4, 24 sin p cos q. So, sin of p plus q, 24 times sin of p plus q you are going to get sin p cos q plus cos q sin p here, cos p sin q. So, that is going to be 36 plus 1, 37. So, what we have here? 24 times of sin of p plus q is therefore equal to 37 minus 25 that is 12. So, sin of p plus q is equal to 12 by 24 that is half. So, what is the possibility? P plus Q, P plus Q we can have it to be pi by 6 or pi pi by 6. If P plus Q is pi by 6, this will imply angle R to be equal to pi pi by 6. And in this case, it will be angle R will be equal to pi by 6, pi by 6. So, both the options are available here. So, what should we go for? Is it pi by 6 or 5 pi by 6? Now, that has to be resolved here. 